And um, I would like to start with the portraits. And the portraits are actually here. I invite you to see those ones first. These are like the most finished ones that I created with different people. Like the portraits I do are painted live. So um, that's, that's actually how I do the painting. I can paint from photos, but there is no way to capture the, to really read the color and uh, the color and the shapes. So I must say that I enjoy this interaction with the people to be like facing them and speaking with them and seeing them discover what they look like at the same time I'm doing the, the portrait. And um, I studied portrait, that's probably the only thing I study in the arts um, because for everything else I was like self-taught. But a few years ago, maybe like five years ago, I got the luck to meet Nelson Shanks, a wonderful portrait artist, like one of the main masters in America. And I learned his technique like uh, uh, pretty, pretty well, and it worked very well with my way of thinking. And I, I thank him like almost like every day for leaving such a legacy, and keeps on teaching. So this is how we start with a grisaille, getting the proportions, and then from that like start applying the colors as I did on this one. And this is the, just like a few hours work, like three, uh, three hours, four hours. This was maybe an hour and a half. Then this would be like four, five, no, let's say five or six hours to get more of the sense of light and uh, the 3D effect. The same thing can be done on, uh, on still life, but I'm going to skip. That's uh, a number of studies that I wanted to present here. And then here, like no transition from the last work I did in painting, we go to the first painting I ever did here in 1998, here in New York. And this painting has been like traveling with me for uh, all these years. And at some point, like between two apartments, I didn't have the lease in the first years in New York. And I kept on like moving from apartment to other, like uh, renting rooms here and there. And this painting ended up like being wounded. And I honor this wound as part of the journey. Here we have a, in the theme of the mind, uh, we have like a few, uh, few paintings, like a little bit like symbolical here. This one is called um, Modern, um, uh, it's called 69 Modern. I forgot like right now, I apologize for that. But it is about this, the idea of like playing like life and death and um, what happens in the, like, I won't go there. For this, you will have to go in the book. I, I don't want to get into like the deep, dark uh, explanation. This is like generations of women emptied of their souls because uh, completely um, hurt and deprived of their own uh, rights and uh, incapable of blossoming in their feminities from the societies they live in. Um, this would be another thing, another one about another uh, theme about uh, women. Uh, this is a woman who, it's called the child woman. A woman who grew up too fast was still uh, entangled in her hair and her thoughts and her fantasies. And she's like that child woman still here with this big teddy bear, a little bit like scared and painted in a box. I actually painted this one to be uh, like horizontal, like flat. And I presented flat uh, this, uh, to this one. Like uh, this idea of entrapment is very important to me. Like the body like trying to break out, break through. Um, this one is uh, is looks a little bit like a, like a poster. This is about relationship and how uh, people meet and how they can get along with a long list of criteria and the question of if we just, just, uh, we just met and I wonder if our anything, education, citizenship, maturities, uh, friendship, what, whatever, like skins uh, would fit. And this is this question that um, when I did this painting that was at the time when uh, people were getting like very serious about profile on the internet and encountering and so like really seeing people as profile you meet somebody you ask a few quick uh, few questions and you just like decide if it is going to work or not briefly also chameleon woman the woman being different whatever she was where she is like another one if she wear that typical symbolic red evening gown or power suit or lingerie it goes with the different makeup different type of shoes this is like different mind frames represented with the physique, with the body. And this is also like uh, my first paintings. This as well, same period of time. Greetings, people uh, perfectly defined, perfectly happy. How do you do? Everything is perfect, wonderful. 
and behind that the personalities are not expressed they are like undefined they may be they may be artists but they didn't take the risk of being themselves they never confronted their reality to um, to the outside world and there is a gap between who they are outside and who they truly are these pieces here we have um, here we have um, re um, recovery a, a work I made when I moved to New York and I moved to um, when I moved to New York and uh, uh, St. John the Divine. Here we have uh, Annunciation, also very yin and yang, with the spirit of the, the, the angel coming there to ask to give this mission. And the mission is not actually in the body, but in the mind. So the blue, merry blue outfit that we see later on here is uh, symbolizing that she's actually taking a mission. Here we have like some uh, more of the couple bodies uh, that were like in the earliest ones painting that I made, much bit, much before uh, the other bodies you saw on the main floor of this gallery. Madonna and Child, in short, a big mix of references, uh, the Mary Blue, but actually they are these futuristic uh, bubbles of uh, like glass with the reflection of the stars in it. It's always like to, to question where is science, where is spirituality, and um, her face is more what I would consider Middle Eastern and not so much like she could be from Holland, you know. I, I wanted to give her the face that she might have had. Anyway, playing. Here, a last little something that I like very much about this painting. We can see the little shape of a man here and he's pointing at one of the stars, which happened to be like some strange UFOs. And this is uh, based on something I saw in a wonderful documentary about, uh, I believe it's like a 19, uh, no, in the 16th century, to have um, some, uh, some references to, um, to uh, space. Here is a yin yang painting. It's um, like about relationship. We are attracted by the same thing and repulsed at the same time. We meet somebody because of, uh, and want to be with them, and then we break up for the same reason. This is also like based on a lot of things that I've heard from people um, and the theme of uh, combination and core. And this one is called Collective. Lots of things are going on. He's wearing a lot of jewelry and uh, very much he's all attached everywhere. Even his third eye is attached to a decorum. And uh, this was a little bit, it looks, it looks pleasant to watch, but uh, the idea is a little bit like darker. It's with the idea that um, of being entrapped in the tribe, in the, in the community, in the collective mind. And this uh, helped me realize that, for example, when communities uh, come from different countries and stay in, uh, like in the US, because this is where I've been living for more than 10 years, um, they can stay in the same, they can stay a little bit stuck in the same period of time when they came, like maybe in the 60s, and stay in the 60s when the people, let's say in India, who are like coming now to the to America are much more open and much more um, yeah open to different cultures and uh, and uh, than the one who stayed here when I thought the opposite. But anyway, this piece here is about uh, reincarnation, the birth, the life incarnated, we evolved and then we die and the soul comes back here and comes back in in the different body shapes and goes back out. A very pleasant piece because there is no dead hand except it in our own minds and this is like uh, what this piece is uh, there to it's not to say that this is the truth but it is to say that this is what I want to believe in and here we have an angel that is like maybe resting uh, I have a number of drawings not so much in paintings but of uh, being really exhausted and tired of this like almost like a fight of life and here is resting there is still light going here the dark red might be like some idea of like blood, but the blood is not like blood like scary. It's more like blood like the source of energy. So this would be like what this painting is about. And I called it Icarus, just for the idea of like the mel melting wax. But very much that's uh, very open to the interpretation of, uh, of each person. Thank you very much for your visit, even if it was a little fast. And the book has all the explanation on all the art piece and, and much more.